going on gearheads so today I'm going to show you how to install a fan radiator fan in your Pontiac Solstice so we finally got our new one here and uh, I wasn't able to get an AC Delco one but and the reason I didn't get the AC Delco one is because it was $600 versus one from lovely Taiwan from Continental you know the tire company for about 200 bucks uh, not including shipping all that fun stuff so a couple weeks ago we ended up doing some work on the Pontiac where we replaced the radiator and did some other cool stuff. And I thought to myself that I should probably replace the actual radiator fan, and I did not. So today, we are going to remove all of this fun stuff. We're gonna pull the old fan out, and we're gonna remove this, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gonna slip right in. Essentially, we've got some grinding and clicking noise coming from the, uh, not even sure if it's the engaging gear or what so that's going to come out so let's get some tools together and start disassembling first things first let's go ahead and remove the map sensor here go ahead and unplug that there and then we're going to move to the front and we're going to unbolt the front of the cold air intake all right and for the front we're going to do the front of the cold air now if you don't actually have a cold air it's going to be just a little different you're going to have to remove the oem air box Make sure you don't smack your hood. Okay. And let's do the front of the filter itself. So go ahead and loosen that up. You're gonna pull that filter right off there. Just like that. And now we got mostly everything disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and pull the cold air Alright, so for the next thing, we're actually not going to remove the charging tube completely. If I remember correctly from when I did the radiator, I didn't actually have to take this out all the way. So I loosened it up so it's quote unquote loose, right? But we do need to take the return lines for the radiator. So the return line uh, that goes into the cooling perch tank is going to come off here. And then we're going to actually have to remove the upper radiator hose. Okay. And you're probably going to lose a little bit of coolant, but guess what? It's part of the problem. Well, part of the process, not really a problem, but it is a problem. There's a coolant on these cars. What we're going to do here, because if you dump this upper radiator hose down, you're going to lose a ton of coolant. So I'm just going to zip tie this off to the side. That way we can keep track of it and it doesn't actually continue to empty the entire coolant from the engine itself. So now the actual radiator fan shroud bolt on the passenger side needs to come out. So go ahead and get that out. Pull that out. Alright, so here comes the fun part. Got everything disconnected. Pull this back. And make sure you got the upper radiator hose somewhat out of the way. And then you're gonna go ahead and just pull up. Charging line here. You're gonna pull it over just a little bit so you can clear. And that's it right there. Boom. Got the fan out. I got it over here on the garage floor. But what's funny about it is there's the old one. Here's the new one. Now, when I bought this, I specific, eh, specifically bought the one that had no electronics, no PCM. Now, I couldn't see it through the packaging. But what's interesting is that even the description said that there were no PCM, no electronics, no nothing, just motor. And that I would have to use my old one. Well, part of the video was going to show you how to transfer your electronics from one to the other, but this one already has it on there. Um, like I said, I paid about 200 bucks for it, and the one with the electronics was uh, almost twice the price. So I made out pretty well on this, but we're going to keep the electronics off this one. The fan is bad, but I'm going to keep the PCM. I'm going to end up stripping that off, and um, I'm a hoarder, so I'll keep it. Uh, maybe we'll put it on the old Harley. I don't know. Or maybe we'll put it on that one. I don't know. But let's get this one in the car. It's ready to go. So, all right. Let's get this bad boy in there. All right, guys. So we've got the radiator fan in. Now, when you push it down... 
you have to make sure that you hit the two tabs that are on the bottom. There's one on the driver's side, one on the right side. They're kind of like L tabs, so it's going to slide in there, and then it's going to push forward. Uh, you're going to have to finesse it in. Unless you take everything apart, um, it's not going to slide in easy. But we got it in. It took me about five minutes or so. So what we're going to do now is we need to do the bolts. You have the left one, and you have the right one. Driver's side, and then passenger side. Remember, the long ones we pulled out. So we're going to put those back in there, and we're going to buckle all this down to make sure it's nice and tight. And since we're over here, let's go ahead and plug this return line to the perch tank back on right there. Now, be gentle with the nipple. Don't want to break the nipple. All right, and then for the driver's side, we need to connect the upper radiator hose back on. So if you remember, beginning of the video, we ended up zip tying it to the side. So let's connect that back on there. Be gentle with the neck of the radiator. All right. Now, we're on there. We're going to go ahead and tighten that up here in one second. And since we're here, let's go ahead and push one of the body, the pins in right there. And then the other side as well. All right, and let's get this driver's side charging tube connected back together. And I'm going to push it right down in there. And then we're going to bolt it down on the other side and make sure we get it all tightened up there. Final stretch here. And uh, let's go ahead and get this situated and the cold air put back on. So again, like I said at the beginning, you may not have a cold air. If you don't, your process is going to be just a little different from mine. But it's no biggie because it's pretty much the same. And we'll get the filter back in there. Just a few quick things. So when you do go to start this thing up, make sure your air conditioner is on high. That way it'll run through the entire initiation process. If you have any questions in regards to the install, make sure you leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to try to answer every single one. Let me know how your projects are going. Make sure you like and subscribe for more cool Kappa videos like this for your solstice.